Maka Try. Welcome back to another episode of Try Page Media's Tech to Try. And once again, I am your host, Justine. The experience we had last week has reminded us of the importance of having the right equipment. And Maka Try, we already said this in our previous episodes, technology plays a big part in our life. But we should also remember that technology, when misused, can cause us a lot of stress. You see, having the right equipment, we're not just talking about success, um, efficiency, or productivity here. We're also talking about avoiding unnecessary stress. And we all know that having a faulty equipment can cause us a lot of stress. So we should ask ourselves, isn't it time for an upgrade? Isn't it time to fully appreciate technology and change to the right equipment that can make all the difference? the biggest advantages the advancement of technology has brought into the workforce is the ability to work from home. And for today's episode, we will once again talk about another tech headache that is not knowing where to start sa pag-set up ng mga home office. Sigurado marami sa mga katry natin sa ngayon na makakarelate dahil marami na sa atin sa ngayon ang naka-home-based jobs. And may mga ilan naman na kinailangan nilang mag-hashtag work from home while the quarantine is still in place. Are you one of those who would want to upgrade their home office setup? Or nagbabalak ba kayo na mag-set up ng sarili niyong home office but struggling on how to do it? Fret not because we prepared some sample offices that you might want to look at and get some inspiration on how you can do yours. First, let's go to Batangas City and watch as Ma'am Karen tours us on her home office. Let's watch this. Hello everyone, my name is Karen and I'm a virtual assistant and social media coach. I work online so I can work from home, I can also work from anywhere I am but it's always more comfortable to work from home so I want to make sure that my workspace setup is comfortable for me and today I'm going to show you my workspace which is what you're looking at right now. It's not grand, I only have a few things that I use every day for work so I explain ko po ngayon yung mga tools na gamit ko for my day-to-day -day work. Now, we will start with my dual monitor setup. I always prefer using dual monitors because I have a lot of windows and tabs open and I want to see all of my windows at one glance. Kaya lagi ako naka dual monitor. And my second monitor is only around 3,500. It's a Hanabishi monitor na nabili ko sa Shopwise and it does the job, so okay na din siya. And then I bought a bracket from Shopee. I uh, have most of my stuff here from Shopee, by the way. <laughs> so I bought a bracket, monitor bracket from Shopee, uh, around 500 pesos lang ata. Dahil ayokong mag-use up ng space ang monitor, ang second monitor ko. And then this one is also convenient kasi you can increase the height of the monitor based on your eye level. And then next is uh, para mag elevate din ng laptop na gamit ko, I also bought a laptop stand from Shopee then. <laughs> it's just 220 pesos. Um, kasi I'm actually eyeing for a bracket that has that can hold both my laptop and my monitor. But currently out of stock siya sa Shopee. <laughs> Kaya while waiting for that, uh, bumila ko ng temporary na laptop stand and bracket hanggang sa maging available na yung bracket na gusto ko. And then I am using a mechanical keyboard from Lazada. This is a gaming keyboard, RK Royal Clutch, ang brand niya, from China, of course. <laughs> so, gumag uh, gamit ko mechanical keyboard dahil it helps me with my typing. Before kasi madalas sumakit ang kamay ko after whole day of work. Pero napansin ko when I started using my mechanical keyboard, mas mabilis na ang typing ko and mas, mas comfortable siya sa kamay. And I also have a vertical mouse. Una akala ko mahirap siyang gamitin pero very easy lang pala. Ang bilis kong naging comfortable sa paggamit niya. And this is also comfortable for your wrist because we're supposed to use our hands vertically when we're using our mouse. Kaya malaking tulong ang vertical mouse for me. And this is a rechargeable mouse. I think this has a lithium ion battery inside and this has a charging port right here. I haven't charged this since I got it. Kaya long lasting ang battery niya. I think I've been using this for two weeks now. This is also from Shopee. <laughs> uh, 400 pesos or 450 plus shipping. So I paid around 500 pesos for this. And it's really a good buy. So try having a 
a vertical keyboard, uh, sorry, vertical mouse. Malaking tulong siya for your wrist. And pair it with a mechanical keyboard. Try this mechanical keyboard na maliit lang para hindi din siya magkukonsume ng too much space sa table. And I have an extended mouse pad kasi dati when I was using the normal mouse pad na maliit, gumagalaw din siya dahil I use my mouse a lot pero nasa bayish yung, yung mouse pad ko. Kaya I decided to buy uh, an extended mouse pad. It's it has a felt material kaya maganda din siya gamitin. And magandang texture niya. So try having this as well. This is around 250 pesos lang din sa Shopee. <laughs> Shopee talaga lahat. Um, ayun, try nyo din to. Maganda siya for your work, workspace setup. Now, the next is, next tool I have is my AirPod. So for my normal video calls and live coaching sessions, I use my AirPod. Maganda siya dahil may noise, noise cancellation feature na din. That's what I'm using right now. Um, so, I use this for normal video calls and conference calls, but when I am recording video lessons and video tips, I prefer using this. Actually, I haven't used this. We just finished setting this up yesterday. It's an Audio-Technica condenser microphone. The model number is AT2020. And this is really good for audio and video recordings. And I've read a lot of really great reviews about this model. It requires a phantom power. A phantom power is like a, an equivalent of an AVR, I think. And then my wires, my dalawang wires na kailangan. So ngayon hindi siya nakasarap kasi I'm not using it naman. Pero if it's set up, medyo messy dahil kailangan ng dalawang wire plus the phantom power. So if you're someone who works with a lot of video and audio recording, then try the Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser microphone para ma-improve din ang audio quality nyo if you're using a normal headset in recording. And if you want to invest in a high-end microphone, then try the Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. Okay. So, the next is my webcam right here. I'm using a Logitech C310, I think, uh, yung model number niya. It's just 1,499 when I bought that sa PC Express. So that's two years ago. Tapos sabi nila ngayon daw ay 1,200 na lang. It's great for uh, ESL teaching as well. If you're an ESL teacher, you can also invest in this type of webcam. It already has its own microphone and it's just 5 megapixel pero ang linaw niya and then you can also choose if you want to use portrait or or widescreen uh, version of the video then meron siyang ganong settings so try this uh, model it's Logitech C310 USB webcam uh, actually kinagamit ko normally ang webcam ng laptop ko. Pero if I want to have a higher angle when I'm doing video calls or video conferences, then I use the Logitech webcam. My laptop, I'm using a MacBook Pro 2019, yung 15 inches na version. I am a fan of both Windows and, and Mac. Pero most of my clients kasi, they use software and programs na pang Mac. Kaya I'm using a Mac right now. Pero it has a dual boot system. It has Windows as well. And this works perfectly with my mechanical keyboard. Kasi itong keyboard na to can work with both Windows and, and Mac. So my switch dito, kapag lumipat ako ng Windows, then I can switch to Windows function for this keyboard. And then you will see my iPad here as well. Kasi pag hindi ganun ka heavy ang workload ko, I try to play comedy series or sitcoms para lang malighten up ang mood ko para hindi ako mas stress. So that is if my my workload is lighter than usual. Pero lately, medyo heavy ang workload kaya hindi ko na siya nagagawa. I only watch Netflix after my work na. <laughs> Pero normally, gusto kong may nagpe-play na sitcom or any funny movie uh, or funny series while I'm working. 
para hindi ako masyadong ma-stress. <laughs> and you will also see my notepad right here. I write down the things that I need to accomplish the next day. Lalo na kapag madami akong tasks na kailangan gawin the next day. I write it down talaga instead of putting it in a digital notepad because I, I tend to forget if it's digital. So there are pen and paper types of people. There are also digital notepad types of people. So if the digital version is not working for you, then try writing everything down and you will see how effective this is as well. And also, the last thing that I want to share with you is my desk. It's a standing desk from Stan's Philippines. Kapag masakit na ang likod ko or ang hips ko sa kakaupo, then I can just elevate the table para pwede, pwede pa rin ako mag-work habang nakatayo. And it's really, really great for your productivity as well. So it can increase, it can improve your health and it will also increase your productivity. I saved up for this table for about two years because it's kind pricey. Siya. Pero if you are someone who is thinking of working from home permanently, then try investing in this type of desk. It's called a standing desk. Um, Stance has their own Facebook page as well, so you can check their products. Pa. It's called uh, their Facebook page is called Stance Standing Desks. They have two types of standing desks na ganito. Uh, they have single motor and dual motor. So I think I have the single motor and this is around 18,000 ata. So this is highly recommended if you are someone who is working from home or if you are planning to work from home permanently, then napaka gandang gamitin. Um, and it will improve your health. That's what's most important. Dahil madalas sumakit talaga ang likod and hips kapag work from home ka. Or if you're working in front of a computer, if you're sitting down while working, then I highly suggest investing in, in a standing desk. And that's it for me. If you have any questions about the tools that I use, then you can just comment down and I will do my best to answer. So I hope this video has been helpful. Again, this is Karen and have a great day. That amazing stand standing table is really the highlight of that tour. Thank you very much, Mom K, for showing us your home office and providing us some tips on what tools, um, gadgets, and equipment we should try to have. Now, let's go to Tagaytay City and I'm very sure you all know him. Let's watch as Direct JM shows us his home office. Let's watch this. Hello, uh, Mama Try. Uh, this is JM uh, from uh, Try to Edit, Try PH Media Production. Um, I'd like to welcome you to my home office. Hey, kayo. Tour ko kayo ng kote dito sa area na to. So, ito yung primary computers ko na ginagamit um, sa, sa work. Uh, one on the right is a MacBook Pro 15 inches, early 2014 model. Um, this is my main machine actually. Uh, this is what I bring along with me if I go on trips and if I go to anywhere that needs uh, remote um, production. Then I have also now, temporarily, the machine that I have for work, which is an iMac Pro. And I'm a, a maxed out iMac Pro with a Xeon processor, a 32 gigabyte uh, RAM. Now, grabe halimaw yan pagdating sa, sa production, lalo na kapag ang uh, ine-edit ng mga 4K videos. But uh, my usual work uh, sa TriPage Media, I use this uh, 2014, early 2014 uh, 15-inch na MacBook Pro. Uh, ang gusto ko sa Mac OS is that yung resources ng machine is uh, well managed by the operating system which makes it, uh, which allows it to maximize yung potential ng machine when it comes to heavy loads like video editing. And yung environment ng Mac OS is really good for uh, uh, multimedia production. So it goes either with sound production or even yung, uh, lalo na sa video production, uh, Mac OS talaga yung, ano ko, yung primary, primary choice ko. I can use both uh, Premiere Pro and uh, Final Cut Pro X uh, on, on these machines. But the preference ko for editing software is yung uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, primarily because yung fast rollouts and fast rendering ng mga videos, kaya yun yung 
paborito kong gamit. Now, since um, ang <coughs> primary uh, communication na ngayon, usually for meetings, business meetings, even yung mga broadcast namin sa Facebook Live, we need to use Zoom. So, a good audio system is actually uh, plus now. So, what I do is I, I combine um, a Zoom device, a Zoom H4N Pro. Uh, what you, can, you can see there with a BM800 condenser microphone. So, combine the end and um, nakakabit siya via USB doon sa uh, iMac Pro at the moment. You cannot afford yung mga desks, na, uh, functional desks na meron mga motors and uh, specialized siya to, to move. Then you can also have the DIY. You can do do it yourself on, on your desk. You just modify it with simple modifications. For example, itong workspace ko, if, I, if I'm using it, it extends fully like this and it occupies a larger space than usual. So, nakocover niya yung walking space dito sa loob ng room. But, kapag ka hindi ko siya ginagamit and uh, Halimbawa, magpapahinga na ako and I want to have more space to move in. So, I can, I attach uh, coaster wheels on the table. And then, I can easily just move it backward and forward the way that I want to. So, pwede ko siyang itak sa gabi kapag hindi siya ginagamit. Which will allow me to reclaim yung space na nakukuha niya kapag ka fully extended siya forward sa, sa umaga. Or kaya kapag ka ginagamit ko. Yeah, magandang bagay din yun. If you find something that you can do on your own, that will be cost-effective. And as well, it's fun. It's a fun project to, to do. So, when it comes to home offices, I think you both, personally, that works for me. Keep the bare essential, essentials. You know, just keep the things that you need to do for work so that you'll maximize all the space. Uh, make it your own, kumbaga, para you'll enjoy being there. And of course, try to make it as you know, accommodating as possible and that will keep you working on your own on uh, your home office without that, that feeling of you know thank you very much direct for showing us on how you maximize the use of your home office you can also follow direct jm on his show that is every saturday 10 a.m that is try to edit and to end this let me just say that the look and the feel of your home office would be entirely up to you in fact, a good home office certainly reflects the personality of the one who uses it. But as we learned from our two guests, when we revamp our setup, we should try to achieve these objectives. Number one, choose the right equipment. Number two, follow ergonomic rules. And number three, of course, comfortability. When you follow these tips, you would surely have an office setup that would perfectly fit your needs. Next week, we will talk about where do I start with digital art? and we will meet someone who will explain his must-have tools and how to use it properly. Before we end, I would like to greet my relatives in Pangasinan. Hi, Mama Yoz, Nay, um, Tita Ann, Tito Anton, si Sia, and of course, si Mami Sol. Thank you very much po for always watching and sharing my videos. Once again, thank you very much for tuning in on today's episode. Please know that I will always try to give you something that will help you appreciate technology even more. This has been Tech to Try and I am your host, Justine. See you on Thursday, 10 a.m.